Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, bringing you a grand solar minimum update. Thursday, May 30th, 2 a.m. Mountain Time. And if you're watching Magnetic Reversal News, and you, please tell your friends over at Oppenheimer Ranch Project where we're at. Tell them that we're down here at Magnetic Reversal News. And we're playing the flute. We're playing a G-sharp mini in cedar. Not so easy to play. Did you feel that? I felt it. Check out the flooding. Flooding rains, 10 to 12 inches expected. Oklahoma. Northeastern Texas and Kansas. And this is not looking good. We're about to check out some of the GFS models, especially in the Arkansas River, where you're looking at here at 544,000 CFS cubic feet per second. Yeah, it's boom time, kids. And that, and we're going to, it's just a tippy touch to the flooding that's coming. Keep calm, it's boom time. I know you're here for a reason. And that's the reason of the season. Mayuary means snow keeps falling at Arapaho Basin, and that's tonight's first boom. Mayuary, please do a dab. Unofficial kickoff to summer. Do it now. But up at Arapaho Basin, the snow keeps on coming. I've never been a summertime skier. I, I rode my mountain bike this morning at home, and now I'm here skiing. So what more could you ask for? There's a term for that here in Summit County. May you worry. People saying thank you to Mother Nature this season. But also thank you to our fallen soldiers this Memorial Day. I love those guys keeping us free here. and. Keeping us free and taking names. Diamond at the Oppenheimer Ranch Project. Supporting Top Dot and his ranch. Happy Echo Ranch. I'll take some ranch dressing with my crew to Tay any day. Thank you, Maddie Baldwin. It may be the unofficial kickoff to summer, which could be a bummer. But there's a term for that in Summit County, and that's Mayuary, said Breckenridge resident Maddie Baldwin. And that means it's snowing. And those snow machines are not blowing, but they are plowing. <laughs> snow closes Beartooth Pass at Lower Gate. Three minutes, 41 seconds in. You can watch it all happen here live. The Beartooth Pass was closed Tuesday morning at the lower gate due to falling snow covering the road. <laughs> the closure went into effect at 8 a.m. according to Montana Department of Transportation. You are now leaving Montana. I wish I could verify that. Can anyone hear me? Oh, you can see me. Holy shit, there I am. <laughs> Record snow, flooding, and tornadoes. Why the Midwest and Plains have been the most extreme weather region in 2019. Damage from a confirmed tornado near Canton, Texas, that injured at least one person. That was just one of several tornadoes Boom! we had in Texas. Do the sounds of severe weather can be just Top really not scary. Dad now. Listen to the Live tail resident. end of this tornado siren. Yeah, that was in Bedford, Texas. And of course, Texas wasn't the only spot with severe weather. It was another big day of severe weather across the nation. Some big hail in parts of Pennsylvania. A lot of severe thunderstorm warnings and several reports of tornadoes in Texas. Now, uh, the National Weather Service will be very busy with surveys over the next couple of days. They're already doing a lot as we speak. It's been a crazy couple of weeks of severe weather. Just look at the last couple of days. This is just May 27th through the 29th. All of those dots that you see are reports of either tornadoes, big hail, or damaging wind. Now, 
We still have a chance for some severe storms through the overnight, through the Ohio Valley, parts of the Mississippi Valley, and just west of there. So watch out, especially through parts of Arkansas and Louisiana. Could get a few nasty storms. Still the chance for a couple of tornadoes and definitely some damaging wind. And after that, I think overall, things don't look too, too bad over the next couple of days. There is going to be the threat for severe weather from the Mid-Atlantic into the Ohio Valley on Thursday. Holy but mackerel! Not quite as bad Shut a severe threat as what we've seen Smoke in bones. days past. Can we shut him up? Oh my god. Can we shrink him down? Shrink it up! Thank you for coming. We're gonna pause that. At a glance, I picked my nose. The Midwest and Plains have been the epicenter for extreme weather since January. A persistent jet stream pattern has been responsible for heavy snow, flooding and rain, tornadoes, as predicted by the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and others, as we descend into the grand solar minimum and cosmic rays increase, as we get nearer and nearer to the magnetic reversal. A persistent jet stream pattern has been responsible for heavy snow, flooding, rain, and tornadoes. The year began with extreme cold, which triggered a split in the polar vortex, which we call the meridional flow, as opposed to the zonal flow. This is a zonal flow, and then the meridional is like... The year began with extreme cold, which was triggered by a split in the polar vortex, which is like a split in your pants if you're an ass and you had too many McDonald's burgers. The plains and Midwest have been the most extreme record-breaking weather region so far this year. Since January, those regions have set records for cold, snow, flooding, and more. May has added hundreds of reports of tornadoes to hit the list. Holy shest. A persistent weather pattern is the culprit for the storminess called the Grand Solar Minimum, bitches. Strong upper-level winds from the jet stream have often carved a path southward over the west, which is the best. When that happens, it puts the plains and Midwest in the crosshairs a repetitive track of storms. Moisture from the Gulf of Mexico feeds into those systems and allows them to dump copious amounts of precipitation into the situation, which is your retardation for the next vexation of the entire decadation of your life. <sighs> Did you start a band yet? Here's the look at the extreme weather we've seen so far in 2019. Those red dots mean you're fluxed. I hope you live there. Because you have swimwear and Al Gore's hiding in your closet. <clears throat> the actual number of tornadoes confirmed from those reports have yet to be determined pending the National Weather Service damage surveys, but it's likely the final tornado cap for May 2019 will well be above the 20-year monthly average of 279. I'm saying it's like 350. Easy. Easy 350. Getting shifty on the 350. Shungite much? Mm. Do it! Weird winter weather, record snowfall keeps Mammoth open until August, which means it's going to start snowing in October and glaciers will build. Ocean lovers get chill with water temps in the mid-50s. <laughs> you better put on your dry suit, bitches, because you're about to get stitches. Storms may have Mammoth looking like winter wonderland in the beginning of summer. Mother Nature is an interesting sense of humor. Just like a tumor. Just as snow enthusiasts are packing up their gear and getting ready to break out their bathing suits to hit the beach, weird weather might be mixing up the summer vacation plans. Good times. I'm sorry. I, I'll never do it again. It's not unusual for us to see some random snow in May. Hey, hey. This is a little bit later than what we typically see, said Justin Canton, spokesman for Big Bear Resort. We saw a lot more accumulation than we usually see. Usually it dusts. It like, it's like a little dust. And then we just have to wipe it off with a little cloth, he said. From a safety standpoint, it wasn't conducive to letting people out on the bike trails. <laughs> Cross-country skis much? I don't even know where to go from here. It's like, a big, it's like a broken record. It's like I'm trying to go rafting. I'm trying to put my boat in the river and the water won't come up. Heads up, Alan. You're picking up what we're putting down there. With homes flooded and dams, levees stressed, Oklahoma hopes to survive the Arkansas River's wrath. 
Sand Springs, Oklahoma, as floodwaters swirled closer, Donald Sales urged his brother to empty his one-story brick home about a half a mile from the Arkansas River. If it floods, you'll thank me, and if it doesn't, you'll be mad, but either way, you'll be okay. And then they passed off the Shungite water, and everyone was hydrated and tried to blow and make noise, but they weren't talking into the thing. Mm. That is just so delicious. <clears throat> now the Sales family can't yet check the home because recent excessive rainfall may keep some areas of the Oklahoma inundated for days and days and lemon haze and dabs and well, you get the picture. Here we are at the discharge in cubic feet per second. And we're bringing you right back where we were yesterday at the Arkansas River in Fort Smith, Arkansas. Which is our Kansas to some that live in the Schmanzas. But here you can see it already peaked because they had all the shrooms here on May 20th. Now they're coming down. Downtown Leroy Brown. But here you can see Satan himself sticking his boner right up Jesus' Bible in Little Rock. And it's still coming up right above the red line. Probably something to do with the pituitary gland or the monthly cycle. But it is up above there now. May 29th, right here live. Look at it peaking. It's a tippy touch and it's getting high. Just like Top Knot and I did moments ago. Whew. It was it was dab time out there. I think we have over 36 different concentrates. It's almost illegal. No, it's absolutely legal. That's why we bought it, because it's in every fucking store. And it costs barely nothing. Anyway, I digress. So here you can see the flood stage that we've entered into the womb of the Arkansas in Little Rock, which will continue to produce children well up through the 26-foot mark. I said it. It's like Armageddon. And if that's not a boom, then you can rip your face off right now. Do it. Rip it off. I didn't find this jiffy for no reason other than for you to rip your face off because the world is ending right now. As this fake meteor hits and these gargoyles shake, you will wish, you will rue the day the Arkansas River at Little Rock is peaking. Good times. Look at that. That is like... I wish I could blow that up. I wish I had the technology to actually make that gigantic. Holy sh... I do! I can't even find it. Whew, look at that. Let's look at this. Let's like let's, let's blow it up. Oh my holy macaroni. I hope I haven't been on mute. That would be a waste of my talent. More than two hundred tornadoes devastated at the Midwest in over thirteen days. Do you know why? They don't know. Anyway. They did come up with a great name called the Madden Julian Oscillation, similar to the El Nino, which is the key, key signal that tornadoes were coming to the U.S. in this particular phenomena. Madden. I love that. Madden number nine. Don't you play that? Julian Oscillation. Now, Julian, the architect, he's he makes a hell of a hat. Hell of a hat. LeeCon.com. Holy hail. Denver area hit with hail during overnight storm. Have you been to leakproject.com? Tinfoilcap.co? An overnight storm hit the Denver metro area on Monday and continued into Tuesday, which was their lose day. Twitter users in the area shared the photos and videos of what appeared to be snow piling up around the city, which is totally sh shitty and really gritty, but some reported being awakened by the hail as it broke windows and shattered dreams. They woke up again in a lightning storm and more hail. And here we see Joe Noyan picking up what we're putting down. Now the snow is going to end, finally. As we hit the final batch here in June, it will continue to fall in British Columbia and Alberta and to the east of Canada, but it's done in the U.S., and that means the sun's going to come out here and flooding rains will continue in the upper Midwest and lower Midwest in the southeast, which will continue the flooding pattern that we predicted 
almost six months ago. As the bulge hits the Mississippi River and moves south, as we predicted to happen in June through July, it's coming true and the mainstream media is caught off guard. Oh my goodness. Mississippi River flooding is the longest lasting in 90 years since the Great Flood of 1927. In Vicksburg, Mississippi, it's the longest continuous stretch above flood stage since 1927, which I just said. Oh my God. It's like a broken record. The Mississippi River at the Quad Cities, which I visited back in the mid-1990s, <coughs> is flooding again and again and again, just like it has every solar minimum. That all farmers and schmarmers and climatologists and solar scientists probably know. And if they don't and they're listening, they now know. Because I just told you. Go check the data. Flooding at at least eight states along portions of the Mississippi River due to the relentless record-breaking spring rainfall and snow is the longest lasting since the Great Flood of 1927, according to the National Weather Service said. Survey says... Boom! <laughs> that was a cat. And they concur. That you need to keep the calm. Scientists find telling early moment that indicates coming megaquake. You have 15 seconds until you're dead. And you'll know. And you'll get those 15 seconds. So thank God. Scientists combing through the databases of earthquakes since the early 1990s have discovered a possible defining moment 10 to 15 seconds into an event that could signal that you're fucking dead. Whew. Man, what an announcement. Like, I was, like, spared. I was like, whew, thank God. Now I'll know moments before. Moderate magnitude 5.4 earthquake, Tanami, Tanami. Australia on Thursday, May 30th, just now, two hours, four minutes ago. Holy macaroni. Nobody's reporting on this, and it's one of the biggest quakes in years from queers in the middle of nowhere, where there's nothing. Boom! Heads up, middle of nowhere. We're checking on your snowware worldwide. Volcano News Update, Kataminsk, and others going boom, boom. Etna, volcanic emissions, as well as lava flowing down the side. <sighs> Hasn't killed any tourists yet, but we're hoping Stromboli will later in June or April, August. Heads up. Etna, lava flow. Sabankaya, strong puffs to 27,000 feet, which is... Kataminch, Tikono, Raventador, Sabankaya. It's like a broken record of volcanic emissions, which are completely normal. Until people die. And then it will be abnormal and it will be completely catastrophic. And I'll have to straighten my eyebrows. What's causing Mount Everest's deadly season? Overcrowding idiots and this can line up into the deadliest place on earth where you can't even can breathe. How many rich assholes get in a line like this and like, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I'll just wait. Till your lungs bleed out and you die, you fucking crusty old prick. Good for you. Bye-bye. Supernova zapped Earth 2.6 million years ago. Researchers wonder if they prompted human ancestors to walk upright. Supernovas got us to stand up. Holy sh... Did ancient supernova induce proto-humans to walk on two legs because they were so scared they had to stand up and run like bitches? Eventually resulting in homo sapiens, which are now homosexuals, and homo god knows what else us. Hands free to build cathedrals, design rockets, and snap iPhone selfies. Even fall off ledges at the Grand Canyon and other volcanoes and burn to death because they're that fucking retarded. Well, who would ever know? Oh my God, I'm feeling, I'm, I'm getting a little itchy. Maybe I need another. Do I need a bump? Oh my God. No, we're fine. Oh no. It's over, Johnny. It's over. Are you ready? Keep calm. That was a while ago. Links will be below. A model of tidally synchronized solar dynamo. Ho, ho, ho. This is good news. Now, this basically shows us that the solar cycle on our sun is controlled by the gas giants in Venus, 
which many have been predicting and postulating for decades and maybe even centuries. And in this paper, they discuss the solar dynamo of the Taylor Spirit type whose omega effect is conventionally produced in a solar-like differential orientation, whose alpha effect is assumed periodically modulated by the planetary tidal forcing. Now, this resonance-like effect has the rationale and the tendency of the current driven by the Taylor instability to undergo the intrinsically holistic oscillation, which is also years aligned by the periodicity of the tidally dominant planets of the Venus and the Earth and the Jupiter. Whew. That's what I was thinking. Please read the paper. In just days, Sunspot 2740 and 2741 will turn the limb, get new numbers, and blow their way Earth-facing. Hopefully take out the grid and you'll never have to listen to me again. And that's what many are saying. NASA warns of monster solar flares, which could hit in the next few years and end the Oppenheimer Ranch Project's supremacy at the top of the insanity list. Boo! Holy sh... Bilderberg, did you hear? Press release. 67th Bilderberg meeting is now taking place starting now, one hour ago, and extending through the rest of your decision to call you. And that's happening in Switzerland, where it's probably fucking snowing. And Al Gore's like, ha, can I have some money? Whew. I'm done. But you can buy this for $24.99. It's not over, Johnny. We're just getting started. LeakCon 2019, uncovering highly guarded information that has been suppressed for thousands of years. No longer is this just for the chosen or those that call themselves the elite, because you are now the chosen and you are now the elite. LeakCon 2019 will be held May 18th and 19th at the Marriott Tech Center. It will be first class every step of the way. Let me give you a quick rundown on the guest speakers. David Mariello, aka Diamond, the founder of Oppenheimer Ranch Project. David Dubai. Adept 2030, Adrian D'Amico, Suspect Sky, John D'Souza, retired FBI agent, the real X-Man, Laird Scranton, comparative cosmology, researcher in Velikovsky, the electric universe, connecting the dots, Robert Felix, magnetic reversals and evolutionary leaps, Greg Allison, NASA insider, rocket builder, Guinness World Records holder, Christian Westbrook, Ice Age farmer, hemp lucid, experience life again, gorgeous awesome, healing power of crystals, we're going to have world class vendors from around the globe on site, artists, craftsmen, astrologers, engineers, and more. This event breaks the boundaries of normal and ignorance. Forget the fluff. You want the truth. You can handle the truth, and you will. LeCon 2019. Get your tickets today. We've got a handful of VIP tickets left. If you can't make it to the event, you can watch the live stream from the convenience of your own home. Watch it on the big screen. Watch it on your phone. Live stream it. Kick back, relax, and enjoy the show. Be excellent to each other, and be the change you want to see. You want to see. You want to see. Be the change you want to see, bitches. Get the live stream. Do it now. Do a dab. Do it for me. Do it for humanity. Do it for posterity. Do it for your prostate. Do it for cancer. Do it for whatever the f you want, but do it. Or you blew it. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. I don't have to tell you what's about to hit. The fan. I don't have to tell you. Subscribe to the channel. Share this with like-minded people. It's boom time, kids. Be safe. We love each and every one of you. Top Knot is still in the house. He's not a mouse. We're about to put up the video from earlier today to show you how the pond situation is developing. Thank you for joining us on the journey. Be safe. We love you. Like, share, subscribe, do it again, do a dab.